I would call the caracal the lazy man's sheep. It was the best decision for me to select the caracal breed. Because as I'm getting older, there are qualities of the breed that I appreciate daily. And I'd like to share them with you. One big thing is the sheep stick together as a flock. It's so easy to move them from paddock to paddock or into a catch pen. And I do not need a dog to move them. I find other shepherds do require dogs to move their sheep where they need to do medication and take care of them and I don't need to do that so that's brilliant for me that works really well the sheep also eat whatever's available to them they're good foragers so if you have a drought season if you live in a dry desert area they eat what is available to them the moms when they have a new lamb are fiercely protective of them and they stay stuck together like glue. Um, no guard dog is allowed to get close. The mother will stomp her foot and or ram the dog until the lamb is larger and everyone accepts the guard dog. I've stopped docking newborn tails and I no longer weather rams and the reason why I do this is because for centuries, the tails have never been docked. It's somewhere in the United States where we've got this idea that we have to keep, keep life simple so we remove all the tails so we don't have to worry about cleaning them. And we neuter everybody so we don't have to worry about that. But I find in the world of the caracal, the ethnic population doesn't want the animal altered and some don't even want an ear tag. So I've gone back to keeping things really simple, which saves me time and energy and keeps it um, easy for me to handle as I get older. So please consider the caracal um, as a, a breed for you to bring onto your farm because it really is a lazy man's sheep and they, they're docile, they're friendly, they're smart, they're inquisitive, and they're a joy one of the best decisions I've ever made.